Spellkit recently rolled out their new deployment configuration, which gives you complete control over how you deploy your application to Vercel as functions. You can now deploy some parts of your application as edge functions, some as serverless functions, and you can even utilize the power of incremental static regeneration, or ISR for short. In this video, I'm going to briefly go over what each of these features are, and then show you how to configure your application to use all three. So Spellkit's new deployment configuration comes with three different configuration options, each having their own advantages. Serverless functions run on the server, similar to your traditional server-side rendering, and are great for reaching out to databases and displaying dynamic data. Edge functions run on the CDN edge, closer to the user, and result in faster response times and smaller load on the server. Edge functions can be used to offload some of the work on the server, reducing the need for the more expensive serverless functions. Lastly, incremental static regeneration is a feature that allows you to pre-render pages at build time and then regenerate them at runtime. This means that your website can still serve dynamic content without sacrificing performance. Each of these deployment options come with their own benefits, and thanks to Svelkit's new deployment configuration, you can utilize all three. So let's learn how to use them in our application. Now, first off, these different configurations are Vercel features, so we need to install and use our adapter Vercel. This adapter will be installed by default if you're using Adapter Auto. However, adding it to our project allows us to specify specific Vercel options. So to install it, let's run this command in our terminal. Okay, so now that adapter is installed and now in our Svelte config.js file, let's replace our Adapter Auto with Adapter Vercel. This is also one place where we can configure our deployment so for example, if we want to deploy all of our routes as edge functions, we could add edge true like this. By doing this, however, all of our routes are going to be deployed as edge functions. Let's say we want to control how each of our routes are deployed to Vercel as functions. Maybe we want to mix and match, have some serverless, some edge, and have some utilize ISR. To do this, you can specify their configuration in the actual serverless route. So let's go ahead and do that. For the sake of this demo, I've gone ahead and created three identical page endpoints. Each of them is just returning the current date and time, and we're going to configure each one differently. So let's move into this first route, and let's say we want this one to be configured as a serverless function. By default, Vercel will automatically configure our server routes as serverless functions with no configuration needed. So we can just leave this as is, and when we deploy it, it will become a serverless function. Moving into our second endpoint, however, let's say we want this one to be an edge function. To configure this one to be deployed as an edge function, we simply need to add export const config and then runtime edge to the top of our file like this. Now, when we deploy it to Vercel, this will be configured to be an edge function. There are other options that can be specified for both serverless and edge functions. And if you're interested in those, I recommend checking out the Spellkit documentation which I will link in the description below. Otherwise, let's move into our last endpoint, and we want this one to be configured to use ISR. So let's go ahead and do that. To do so, we need to add the ISR property to our config object like this, and we also need to use this expiration property, which is required. This sets the amount of time in seconds before the cached asset will be regenerated by invoking the serverless function. By setting this value to false, it means it will never expire, we are going to set this to 10, which means it will expire 10 seconds after the last page visit. Okay, now that we have all of our routes configured, let's deploy this to Vercel and we can test them out. So to deploy this to Vercel, let's go to our Vercel dashboard and we simply need to add a new project, import our desired repository, so I'll go ahead and click it, and now just click deploy. It's going to take a few seconds, but now our app is deployed and we can go ahead and test it out. Now, our serverless and edge functions are going to act the same. Both will update the date every time the page is reloaded. So here we're using our serverless function, and we see that the date updates every time I refresh the page. And in our edge function, we see the same thing happening. Every time I refresh this page, the date and time are updating. Now, the difference is that this one is running on the edge, which means it's closer to the user and faster, and it costs less. Now, where we're visibly going to see a difference is when we get to our ISR example. So here, notice when we refresh the page, it doesn't update the date and time. This is because the page is not going to be regenerated until 10 seconds after the last page visit. So if we wait a little bit of time and then give it a refresh, 
we can see that now the date is being updated. All right, so that covers all the basics for Svelkit's new deployment configuration. If you're interested in getting started from the template we were working on in this video, I will link that in the description below. It is available at Vercel's Template Marketplace, which also has a ton of other awesome templates to get started from. So I recommend giving that a look. Otherwise, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.